ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Pants06, or you can just call me Derek, and today we're talking about this thing up here. This movie just came out, but it's getting panned all over the place for no good reason at all, I think, because it just kind of kind of boggles me why it's getting so critically panned, considering the fact that, you know, I just watched this film, not knowing too much about Warcraft, and it actually came out, I, I liked it a lot, I liked it a lot, um, the visuals were great. They, there's a little bit of a, like a mixed bag with the visuals, but overall it was really good. Um, you know, something I've always wanted to see as a person that's not really been big into Warcraft, I've always liked Blizzard's cinematics, and getting to see pretty much that on film, that blew me away. Like, the uh, actual orcs was amazing looking. Um, the world, I mean... You can tell that the Duncan Jones, whenever he was working on this film, but you know, you can tell the love went into making this film's, you know, look as authentic as it possibly can. Um, now, like I said, this film was catered more to people that has been big into the actual story and whatnot, and has been with Warcraft for years. And I think if you go in and you're a fan of that. And you're going to like the story. They may be some subtle changes, but it's overall actually pretty decent. Now, it's not nothing to blow you away in terms of, you know, <laughs> something like Avatar. And I, I've been hearing a lot of people comparing it to this. And it's not, I mean, the visuals are great, but it's not like Avatar revolutionary. But as for a video game movie, a video game adaptation... It's fantastic, and as a standalone film, it's actually really good, and it does have problems, and the problems has a lot to do with the pacing, and there's a lot of characters that you're trying to remember. Um, some are more um, prominent than others, but it's really hard. I came out of the theater not remembering hardly any of the characters' names, but but I do give one thing. Ben Foster... As that cra cr the crazy um, wizard guy, I won't give any spoilers. It's a spoiler free, so don't worry. He was awesome. I like Ben Foster and pretty much anything he is. He's in um, Dominic Cooper's in it. Um, that's about the only people, big name actors, when they're not really huge on the spectrum of A list actors. But I mean, it was good. It was overall it was a good film. Um, the the actual fight scenes, though. Um, Watching the orcs just like smash like these soldiers down, I, you can tell it's like it's just the craziest thing. It seems like the weapons had weight to them. Um, these orcs were like huge; those massive. Uh, the only thing I didn't care about one of them is the uh, character. Her name was uh, shoot. What was her name? Garona. Garona. That's her name. She looked really, really out of place. Um, now, like I said, this is coming from somebody that's not been uh, big into the Warcraft universe, and I don't know too much about it, but Garona as a character, she looked really out of place compared to every other character in the whole um, movie. Like, uh, the makeup effects for her, um, it just looked cheaply made for her. Uh, I kind of wish they would have done a little bit better. Uh, some of the dialogue, of course, it, it could have been, it had, needs some work. Um, but overall, it looked great. The, uh, <laughs> the magic spells, the battles, um, just the sense of the world itself. I, I give the guy an A-plus for just, you know, recreating this world. Um, now, to all the people that's just panning this, this is like all the critics, I, I don't understand. It's not... It's not fucking terrible. It's not a. It's not at all. It's actually a decent movie, <laughs> and you know I'll, I'll stand by that. I'll stand by that. From I mean, it's good. It's good. And if I had to rate it, I'd give it a solid, at least seven. Um, and compared to any other video game movie that's come out prior to this, this is actually <laughs> I would consider this a um, Lord of the Rings or uh, <laughs> fucking. Um, Oh my god, I can't even think of the name of the movie. Oh, I'm so terrible. Schindler's List! That's actually really terrible. I shouldn't really compare it to Schindler's List. Uh, no, it's 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 actually really good compared to other video game adaptations because I can't really tell you off the top of my head any good ones. And if the one that immediately comes to mind, um, and I hate to say it, but Prince of Persia was actually decent. Um, 
it was a, it was an okay movie, but yeah, War, Warcraft is great. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's worth going out and spending full ticket price. Uh, I bet it looks amazing in IMAX. I would love to see this movie in IMAX. I bet you'd look great, but um, I think it's worth buying, going into, uh, especially if you're, you know, you love the games, or even if you're wanting to watch a movie just to eat popcorn and just kind of see some awesome battles and some really awesome uh, c uh, cinematics. Like it's it's good stuff, good stuff. Now um, they do throw it. It's not overly serious. Um, you know, we have a lot. We have a problem with movies coming out these days where everything has to be a dark tone. It's like our video games has to be overly dark. Um, Warcraft had some actually funny moments with the dialogue. Um, it was lighthearted. Um, there was there was one of my favorite parts, and I, you know, there's a lot of people like like this part, and I myself agree. Is um, you have uh, shoot <clears throat> Dorotan, and I think it's. Kadar, maybe? It's not, maybe not Kadar. Kadar's a bad guy, I think. It's him and one of the other main orcs was, they're sitting down, and, you know, this is when they're in the world. And like I said, I'm not going to give any more spoilers outside of this, but they're talking about, you know, how they miss trees, green, grass, um, snow. And I think those moments in the movie they did help build the characters and build a sense of, you know, there's something bad, we need to fix it, and there's actual meaning to it, and instead of being this dumb, stupid, let's just kill everything because we're big, bad orcs, and, um, the now, another thing that's really stupid, too, um, there is a love story kind of built in there. It's, um, it's there. It's not big. It's not a huge part of the movie, but it's kind of there. I don't, like I said, I'm not too big into the lore, but there was something in there and it kind of fell out of place. But for every, you know, small stumble, there's always something bigger, uh, something awesome to look at. And, you know, I would not, I would not listen to these big critics at all on this film. Um, like I said, I think a Rotten Tomatoes are giving it like a 25%. And, I just don't understand it. Like some of the, even on IMDb, if you take a look to user generated scores, it's 7.8 out of 10. That's from like almost 50,000 users I'm looking at it right now. So fans seem to like it. People seem to like this movie. And it's just critics. It makes me think that, you know, I think Duncan Jones is getting <laughs> hammered for this film. And I think it's. I think he's brave to go out and make a movie. He wanted to go ahead and make an awesome video game adaptation. He loves Warcraft. And you can tell. You could absolutely tell with this film that he actually cared about it. Um, and like I said, it does have its problems. But I do see this when this movie comes out, I see there will be probably an extended edition. Now, it does oh, leave itself open. Like I said, no spoilers, but it does leave itself open to sequels. So hopefully this takes off, makes it becomes really successful. That way, the next film, Duncan Jones or whoever takes over, can make changes to the film to make it a whole lot better. Maybe learn from the mistakes from this. And, uh, man, I, I just can't, like... The, the actual cinematic stuff, like the magic and the actual battle stuff, is actually the cool. Is super cool. I mean, it's worth ticket admission alone just to see that. Um, but overall, I say don't listen to critics. Go in with a you know, if you go in with low expectations, considering it's a video game movie, I think you'll be quite surprised. But don't go in with expectations thinking this is going to be a revolutionary film. Because it's not. It's not. It's it's a good popcorn flick. It's a good blockbuster. And overall, I highly recommend it. Good film. And that's it. Again, my name is Panzer6. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. I put out some uh, content earlier this week. A <laughs> Draw My Life um, special uh, terrible Photoshop paintbrush edition. So check it out and a few other things. I'll have some more content hopefully by tomorrow. But I figured I'd get this out let you guys know what I thought about the movie. And just you know, let you know about it. Again, like I said, hit like and subscribe. And I love you.